All right, we're going to go over a couple new division methods. And for my class, we previewed these on Zoom. But basically, for all of these problems, and this is page 224 and 225, by the way, in your Bridges fourth grade math book, but you need to use either an array or a ratio table to solve these problems. So let's review those methods quickly, then we'll get into the problems themselves. So let's get some space. And we'll go with the array method first, and we're going to do 468 divided by 3. And here we're basically making a little series of rectangles, not one rectangle, to get us up to 468. Let's start with numbers that are easy for you. So I'm going to do 3 times 100 first. That will give me 300. Okay, I can't do another 100. That's going to be too much. So why don't I do half of that, which would be... 3 times 50, and now I'm up to 450. So now I'm thinking, how much more do I need to get to 468? Well, I need 18 more. So now, 3 times what would give me 18? And that's a basic fact that we know. And now I just add up my rectangles, and I have the answer, just like that. So that's the array method. And now let's go over the ratio table. And we've done ratio tables before like this, but we're gonna make actually a horizontal ratio table. And my target number can go there, and then I'm going to have um, one in seven to start. And then I can, you know, just get started like we normally do. But I'm not gonna go one by one all the way till I get to 252. I'm gonna skip some steps. So if I can go from three to 30, now I have 210, and you can see I'm getting closer. So if I were to do 33, so for 33, I can put those together, and now I'm getting closer. And then what would I need? I would need another 21. So if I did 36, then I'm going these two together, and now... I've got it. So the answer to this is 36. So that's how the ratio table method works. So let's get into these uh, problems over here. And we're talking about rectangles here in 693 and 7 meters wide. So this is what it looks like in the equation I put called the side S for side is going to look like this. And now this looks like a tricky problem, but it's actually very simple. I'm going to show you how to use a ratio table here. Okay, so we'll start like this, um, but I'm actually going to overshoot it a little bit. I'm going to go all the way up to 100, and that would be 700. But look how close I am now. If I do 700 minus 7, or 100 minus 1, I'm already at the answer, right? So I can see this is going to be 99. Done. That's how quickly you can do it if you're just thinking about what you know about numbers. Okay, so let's do a couple here. And I'll go for the array method here. So we have this as our equation. And for my array, I can go straight to 7,000, right? I've got 7,000 there. And then I'm gonna make some smaller uh, rectangles to get myself up to 7,147. So what if I did, okay, 10 would give me 70, and then there's another 70, and that's giving me 140, right? So I'm already up to 7,140, and I only need seven more, so I would just do one small triangle to get that last seven in there. And again, you don't. You can draw your triangles larger. The scale doesn't matter so much as the answer, but now the answer is gonna be, <clears throat> add those up. 1,000 plus 10 plus 10 plus one, and that's your answer. Okay, let's go ratio table for this one. <clears throat> Oops, uh, that should be one and seven to get started. And I'm kind of looking over here and seeing what I've got. I'm gonna skip ahead to five. So that would give me um, 35 here, right? But I'm getting all the way to 3,500. So I can go from 5 to 500. 
and now I have 3,500. And I'm almost there. What do I need? Well, I need 21 more. So if I add this and this, then I have my answer. So for these other ones, we'll get you started, but then let you go on your own. These are the challenge. Number three is a challenge. And I think this one has a remainder, which is probably why it's a challenge. And I'll just go back and forth. I'll do an array for this one. So um, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, how can I get close to 340? I know eight times four is 32. So I'm gonna go eight times 40, and I'm already at 320. And I have 20 more to go, right? But I can't get 20 more. The best I'm gonna be able to do is 16. And then I'm not even sure uh, how to go about this. I guess my remainder, maybe I'll put it in a circle. I'm gonna have four as a remainder. And then the answer would be uh, add those. And then you've got a remainder. Okay, let's keep on going. <clears throat> and I'll just get you started for these and you can finish them on your own. All right, so I'm gonna go ratio table here and I'm gonna just hop straight up to 280. And then let's use the method we learned yesterday. Uh, half of 10 is five. So if I did five here, it would be 140, right? And then what would happen if I add these two together? So if I did 15, and I add those two together, I'm getting close. So I'm gonna let you try to finish that on your own. But basically add those together, add these two together, and you're gonna get this number somewhere in your 400s, and then figure out how many more you need to get to 476. And finally, I'll get you started down here too. Let's do an array here, and I'm gonna go by 10. And then I would do just another one of those, and then you're gonna be um, up in the 700s and just keep going little by little till you get to 900, and then you'll have that solved. So again, please, I know you probably know other multiplication or division methods to solve these, but please try these two new methods of ratio tables and arrays to really show your understanding of the math here. So thank you and goodbye.